According to Forbes, the national student loan debt totals near $8 billion and the average student graduates with over $67,000 of debt. Well, today, WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey spoke with one recent graduate of North Carolina A&T who no longer has to worry about his loans thanks to One Music Mogul. Yeah, Lauren, that's absolutely right. Thanks to 13-time Grammy Award winner Pharrell Williams, he is now one of the loudest voices speaking out against the student debt crisis. And now, Demarius Davis, a 2022 graduate from North Carolina A&T, knows firsthand just how serious Williams is. I pretty much uh, got invited out uh, to serve on the panel for Pharrell's student debt campaign through the NAACP. Um, they selected uh, members throughout the nation um, that were youth leaders um, through the HBCU realm. Davis, along with five other HBCU students and graduates, were a part of this panel. The group thought that they were just getting an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. to participate, but what they don't know was the super producer had a surprise in store. He planned to wipe away their student debt. I just got very emotional because I just thought of everything that I just went through for the last five years with school and trying to pay money, tuition, student debt, like just making sure I have everything in place. So I had about $35,000 in debt um, and student loans debt after I checked my account and seen after graduation. So um, to, to be able to have that paid off, it's, it's been really amazing. Now that Davis has had that 35,000 pound weight lifted off his shoulders, he told me his focus is now revamping his nonprofit to help give back to future students. Mm, how cool is that to tell people Pharrell <laughs> paid off all my student right. loans? <laughs> Unbelievable. There's so many philanthropists across the world that are doing things like this, but for it to be Pharrell, the mm -hmm. super producer, someone that I know, I know Demarius is my age that kind of raised us in the mm -hmm. music game to be able to do this as well. It's just kind of an unbelievable experience. So he's walking across campus calls. I'm happy. <laughs> Everybody. Or he's going to drop it like it's hot. There you, there you go, Lord. <laughs> I just can't imagine what that feeling must have been like when, you know, you see that you've got this debt when you log into your student loan account or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and then all of a sudden one day you log in and it's just zero. It's gone. Yeah, I can feel it when he was talking about that weight just lifted because I don't have a lot of debt, but I do have some from grad school. And even though we have this pause right now, it's kind of something that's always like lingering in the back of your mind. So for him to be able to graduate with a fresh start, that's like really refreshing. Well, and that, you know, for most people, I think student debt, they, it haunts them for decades. Yeah, some, some people cases. say they take it to the grave. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. So that's that's huge. It's bigger than I think a lot of people even realize. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still paying my student loans. I graduated in 2005. Ooh. So so I know it's in the back it's of your a, head. It's a lot of years. Yeah, it's <laughs> one of those things, but it's just like that necessary evil. Every yeah. month you just keep putting toward it. It's like a car payment or a yeah. do it. house payment. See, or I always everything. like it with those if you, if it's automatically deducted, so I don't have to yeah. look at yep. it. I don't want to I don't want to write a check or send <laughs> punch any buttons. I just want it to be gone. <laughs> right. And could you imagine like knowing in May now I've got this, you know, lump sum that it's, could possibly just hang over my head for the rest of my life and then what two months let one month Gosh. later it's gone I mean, like just i said gone. it's just that relief now he might be able to live a different lifestyle get a better apartment just different things because you won't have that extra fee to worry it's about. like getting a raise mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big a, a big time yes. race. <laughs> and now I'm wondering, I'm like, does he have like Pharrell's phone number? Does yes. Are they media? hanging out? Yeah, like, yeah, so going to do something for the people in news. I'll follow up and know. see what I can find out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Keep us in the loop, Jalen. Thanks.